Hackett, and it's causing a little bit of a hold up, especially heading away from Gloucester Road. The bridge that looks very, very slow there. Oh, oh, very, 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 Welcome back to Fullmo everyone. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit funny today. I got a bit of a chest infection. Last night I got a new pit mic. And this is it. It was a bit of a heap of junk as you can see. But it cost me 60 quid. Um, including delivery. I paid for it at 5 o'clock in the morning and it came last night at 9 o'clock. So, you know, about 16 hours later which I think is amazing. It's got a 140 engine in it but apparently the head's gone in it so I'm giving that to Trevor and he's going to try and fix it and put in his curs so that should be really cool and then I'm just going to rebuild this and try and make it look really nice and I've got loads of plans for it maybe make it into a stunt bike or something so these are the plastics it came with um, as you can see they're pretty shit they've been painted loads and loads and loads of times so I'm going to get rid of them and just buy some new ones. I think it's £15 for a new set of CRF50 plastics. Uh, it came with no throttle cable and these horrible grips. So I'm going to get rid of them. As you can see, I think from there, the handlebars are pretty bent. So new handlebars. I think I'm going to do a whole new front end with an upside down forks. I've got to try and get a rear brake for it. Um, I'm going to put on a stump exhaust for it. So now I'm just going to start tearing the bike apart and I'll keep you updated. This is the clutch cable that came with the bike. It isn't very good at all. It's been wrapped in electrical tape by the looks of it. Get a hammer. the old shock you can see the bushings have gone in there and it's pretty corroded I've got another nice pink and gold one that I'm gonna put on there Told the light. so I'm just doing the uh, master link on the chain at the moment So now I've taken the swing arm off, I'm going to give it some uh, coats of paint to make it look nice and sweet and then I'm going to carry on with the rest of the bike. So that's the first coat, I'm just going to let that dry and carry on with the rest of the bike and then I'll come back and do a second coat. So um, whilst the swing arm's drying I'm going to take this engine out so that Trev can take it and work on it and get a new head fitted. You crazy mother! So on the front end of the bike there's a bolt snapped off in the bottom yoke and so because the bolt's stuck in there I'm probably just going to end up getting a whole new front end for this bike 
with some nice upside down forks. So and now I'm going to touch up the frame with some white spray paint. I wanted to do it black but I didn't have any and um, yeah the back really needs it to be honest because it's got a lot of rust showing so I'm just going to spray it with this white and then lacquer it over. So as you can see I've taken the engine out now and um, yeah I know it's something weird like for some reason they've looped the radiator out over so I'm guessing they didn't have a radiator so they've just connected that hose all the way around down to that hose so the oil just goes around the cable and back in there which is well I wouldn't recommend it and then for some reason they've chopped the wires that came out of the stator so it's just that and then they've even taped over the end so I don't even know how they'd run the bike yeah so I'll just keep cracking on the bike now I guess so now I'm going to be working on the front end first of all I'm going to paint the bottom half of the suspension Wreck the fucking bike straight into a fucking tree. <laughs> 